Speaking of the president, just a few hours ago, he announced a brand new military partnership with Australia. His trip there is sending a message to another big country across the Pacific, China. Senior White House correspondent Bill Plant is traveling with the president and joins us this morning from Canberra, Australia. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Rebecca. The U.S. is ramping up its military presence in South Asia. And officials here say that it's about disaster aid and combating terrorism and piracy. But what the president doesn't say, which he doesn't say out loud anyway, is that it's also about countering China's aggressiveness. We welcome uh, a uh, rising, peaceful China. Uh, you know, the, what they've been able to achieve in terms of lifting hundreds of millions of people out, uh, out of poverty over the last two decades has been nothing short of remarkable. With their rise comes increased responsibilities. Uh, it's important for them to play by the rules of the road. The new agreement with longtime American ally Australia calls for U.S. Marines to begin training with Australian forces in the northern part of the country, near the shipping lanes of the South China Sea. 250 Marines will arrive next year. They'll eventually grow to a task force of 2,500. U.S. aircraft will also rotate through bases in northern Australia. Today, the president makes his major speech of this trip to Australia's parliament. His message, despite defense cuts, the U.S. intends to build up its presence in this region and to remain a Pacific power. Erica? Bill Plant in Australia for us this morning. Bill, thanks.